Carrie Duncan here with Cut, Color, and Create, and we're going to do something really fun today. It's a little bit out of the ordinary for me, but we just, I just received the Platinum Scout in the mail, and so I thought we would open it together and then try it out with some of the new dyes that Spellbinders has come out um, as part of the Platinum Scout release. So, I'm just going to, I may fumble around with this a little bit because it's not been opened before. But it's, the box is this lovely shade of lilac. Oh, and it comes with a die. And you can register for $5 off. Here's our operating instructions. I'm going to set that right down next to us here because I'm sure I'll need them. And it looks like we've got, I'm going to just take everything out and then uh, we'll look at each piece. <laughs> Here's our little cutie patootie. So it is just gorgeous with these pretty little flowers and a lovely color of lilac. And it looks like it's put together just like the Platinum 6 or the original. And I'm going to sit down here so I can. It You uh, do have to screw the, well, it looks like it has extras for the handle because the handle's already attached. That's pretty awesome. And then it comes with, looks like a pretty little floral die that says for you. And then it also comes with an embossing folder that'll fit through here. And then it has, I mean, it's just like the Platinum 6. Very cool. Okay, so what I have done, and maybe I didn't, yeah, I cut some pieces of cardstock to four and a quarter by five and a half, but it, that was, I wasn't thinking. I should have read about how wide the, the uh, plates are, and I'm going to measure that right now so that you will know. They, I don't know if you can see on my work surface there. These are one inches. And it looks like the plates are three and a half. So what I think I'll do is just trim my cardstock here in half lengthwise. I'm still planning on using these little pieces of cardstock. But I'll just uh, trim them down real quick. So five and a half, that'd be two and three quarters. Maybe I'll try and do two at a time to speed this up. Okay, so uh, what I thought I'd do first is try out the die that comes with the set. And I'm just going to try it without the shim first. I've got it, I use a shim with my Platinum 6, but I think I'll just wait with that. And I'll try the dies that come with it. So I think I'll use pink for that. And so I've got um, I've got platinum A, platinum B, a cutting plate. So I've got I've got that right so far. 
and I've got a piece of cardstock and then I'm going to put my die on top. Okay, so I'll get my little dies out here. Maybe. And another cutting plate. You could actually run two. Those the the plates are really long. So, wow. It uh, it is good and solid. I'll tell you that. And it does look like, like I need a shim because it didn't cut through everything like I would like for them to. So got these three little leaves here that worked. Just what I always needed was pink leaves. Yeah, that's not, um, so I am going to need the shim. Let's see. I like to put it between A and B. I'm gonna flip that over and see if I can't. Be a miracle if I can get these lined up again, but we'll give it a try. That didn't work a little better. Oh, yes. Got a couple more cut out here. Looks like it moved a little bit. Just going to put my dies in with my die cuts. And that worked that time. So I, I, I guess I really need to use the shim all the time. But that did beautifully. Okay, so on to some of the dies that um, that come with the re the same release. So they're they don't come with the uh, plat Platinum Scout, but they do, they are in the same release. And this one says, here's thank you for, and or thank you and for. So I'm going to do, I think I'll do thank you. And this one I'm going to do out of, orange. Let's 
see if I can get those both on here. Maybe. And these come with uh, shadow dies too. Okay, so we'll see how this one does. And that, I'm going to try doing this the other direction because it doesn't seem to be quite as, it's not die cutting like I need it to. So I'm going to Put my shim, so I've got that for me. Shim, which is F. Platform top, which is B. My, I'm going to put one of my cutting plates, and I'm, I'm going to save this one. So I'll put that on the bottom, and then I'm going to put my dies on top of that with the cardstock up this time and then my second cutting plate that worked much better i can tell already because i can see my little die cuts through the Cut, cutting plate. So I've got another little container here. So you can see that that did much better. Get my embell embellishment wand out here and show you how well that it's just orientation that me that's everything, I think. I didn't get that die on perfectly the second time, so it's double cut a little bit. While I was finishing the die cutting off camera, I discovered that if you just flip the whole sandwich upside down so that the cutting plates are on the bottom and the platform is on the top, the little scout cuts beautifully. We've got a lot more die cutting to do, so I'm going to speed up the video, turn on some music, and hope you enjoy. <laughs>
thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think this little scout's going to be a wonderful addition to my craft room, and I hope you do too. If you like this video, please click on the, the subscribe button down below and click on the bell so you get notified when I publish new videos. Thank you for joining me.